There was an interesting 10 off events at the Winter Magistrates Court this afternoon after the, uh, after the court was expected to hear the case of the former CEO of Fishco, Mike Ngepunya. He was arrested yesterday in connection with the fishing quota bribery scandal. However, it turned out that the Anti-Corruption Commission decided to bring new and additional charges against the six suspects already in jail. And to update us on the latest development, we are joined by our reporter Daniel Nadunya. Very good evening to you, Daniel, and uh, thank you for joining us. Good evening, Jonas. Yeah. Daniel, perhaps maybe the first thing is that walk us through what exactly transpired at court today. Like you said, uh, we actually went to court to witness the appearance of uh, Mike Nipunya, yeah. who was arrested yesterday in connection with the same uh, fish, uh, fishing quota scandal, yes. or, or well known as uh, fish rod. Mm -hmm. uh, but then, all of a sudden, the hearing, the proceedings were like adjourned uh, temporarily. Uh, and uh, that we had was for the state to go and update the charge sheet. Mm -hmm. uh, and then it was adjourned for almost uh, an hour or so. And when we returned, we were surprised when we saw the whole team, uh, the whole six from, from former minister Saki Shanghala, uh, former uh, fisheries minister, uh, minister uh, Bernard Esau, James Hatwikulipi, Thompson Hatwikulipi, Pius Matelulo, all of a sudden, Entering the court and, and uh, uniting with, with uh, the newly arrested uh, yeah, Mike Nipunya. Uh, Mike Nipunya. Yeah. So, so what are the new charges, if you could just shed some light on that? Well, I would not say anything different from the initial charges. It's, it's still charges of corruption. Mm -hmm. Obviously, uh, it, it's now detailed, but I, I, I picked up... Uh, uh, using public office for self-gratification, for example. And you would also see that uh, if you look at the, the likes of, uh, uh, if you can remember last year, December, uh, there, there was somebody that was, was arrested uh, who was trying to get rid of, of some evidence uh, allegedly in, in Saki Shangala's house. And, and now that that case is joined it's with obstructing now the course of justice. Obstructing yeah. the course of justice. Now that case is joined with Saki Shangala's case. While uh, you can also see that uh, there was a certain Jason Iambo who allegedly uh, attempted to bribe an investigating officer in exchange with some uh, bank cards that belonged to, to James Hatwikulipi or assigned to, to James Hatwikulipi and Pius Matelulo. Mm -hmm. That charge was also joined with the two, James Hatwikulipi and Pius Matelulo. Okay. Lastly, Daniel, uh, when are they expected to appear uh, before court and will, they, will all of them uh, appear at the same time? Now, uh, yes, of course, they will all appear at the same time, but think that uh, now they are kind of two charges. You would you would see that there is the initial charge that mm -hmm. was that was brought. Uh, that one they will appear on the twentieth, but uh, for the for the new charges they will then appear on the twenty third of uh, April. All right, Daniel, thank you so much. Welcome for, for that update, and I will definitely be keeping an eye on the latest development of uh, a very um, important and and uh, controversial case in this country. That was Daniel. Dunya, a reporter, giving us an, an update on the latest developments in the, in the fishing quarter bribery scandal, or popularly known now as fish rot.